Hey folks, Quill18 here and welcome to Let's Try FTL. FTL is an amazing indie game uh, that builds itself as a sci-fi roguelike, but I would also make a very a significant comparison to games like Oregon, or not games, the game, Oregon Trail. Um, they, they all have a lot of similarities in that they, they feature um, permadeath. Once you die, it's you're just game over. There's no saving and reloading and, and continuing. Uh, you have crew members that can die. Um, it, it is it is rather hard. It is a randomly generated world to a certain extent. Um, it is real time, but pausable real time, which takes it a little way away from the standard roguelike. But uh, it looks it looks great. And uh, this is a game. It's an, just an indie game that uh, some people put together for, I believe, an independent game competition, which they did well at. And then they decided to go and and complete it as a commercial project and uh, they, they put together a Kickstarter for it. Now what's interesting is that they didn't they did it right. They already had a game uh, when they kickstarted it and they mostly just needed a little bit of help to finish the thing and, and put on some final polish. Well it so happened that their their project looked so good and was so compelling they got far more money uh, than they originally asked for and as a result they were really able to put a lot of polish into the game. Um, but it still has that great sort of indie vibe to it and uh, the reviews have been extremely positive so far so I'm really looking forward to playing this. I've only played the tutorial so otherwise it's going to be pretty blind. We're gonna start with a new game. I'm gonna leave it on normal rather than uh, go easy because I want this to be kind of exciting and dare I say, explosive. So this is going to be our ship, the Kestrel. Uh, we can rename it, we can also rename our crew, but I'm gonna leave things as is uh, for, for this. Uh, you can unlock more ships, uh, more layouts, more items, um, just sort of permanently for future games, but also you uh, can change things and uh, upgrade your ship quite a bit as you play. Uh, you don't level up exactly, but you do gain XP or, or some resources that you can expend. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So, uh, the data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing Rebel fleet can catch up. Tip, solar flares. Solar flares will cause hull damage in addition to starting fires. Make sure your shields are up to help mitigate this effect. So yes, we are carrying important Federation information. We are trying to get to the, uh, I think, to the remaining Federation fleet to deliver this data. Meanwhile, we're being chased by rebels. And uh, yeah, that's it, so let's, uh, let's continue. So, we're, the game is paused right now. Here's the ship, here's our crew member. We have Zeramar, we have Luan T, and we have Ariel. And we can move the, sh the crew around, we can click them, select them, right click them to somewhere else. Uh, we can box select them and do them en masse. They can repair systems that are having problems. Um, and right away, actually, I'm going to go ahead and move my people. Uh, the systems with the little sort of empty silhouettes up here, I'm just going to lower the volume maybe a little for the game, um, are, are systems that can benefit from having people in them. So I'm going to go right ahead and position someone in the, uh, the weapon system. No, wait, that's the engines. Go to the engines, and you are going to go into the shield system, and we'll unpause. The jump drive is ready. I don't know uh, if there's anything we need to do to explicitly explore here. Open all doors, close all doors, here's our XP. I guess we're just gonna jump. Um, distress signal, and there's a store? Interesting. Let's go and check out the distress signal. It's not heading us towards our destination, but maybe it'll give us some extra resources. Ah, I knew someone would fall for a dastardly trap. It appears this distress beacon was nothing but a decoy for a pirate ambush. Oh, woe is me. All right, so we'll continue, we'll pause right away. So this is our ship. And you'll notice, like, you know, you're not, you're not seeing space as is. Uh, you're, you're mostly operating on your vessel, but you can also attack the enemy ship. You can target different subsystems as well with your weapons. So this is a slug interceptor, it is hostile. And they have, so an oxygen generator, shield generator, a weapon system, engines, and their piloting area. So we have, um, an Artemis missile system fires one missile, does two damage, and missiles go through shields. They do take a long time to charge up. We also have burst lasers, fires three lasers, one damage each, and uh, they should be able to pierce through the shields pretty well. They have one level of shields, so the first hit should take down the shields, and then the next hits should actually 
uh, hurt the system. We have three extra energy sitting around in the reactor. Our weapon system can, uh, which we will turn on now, which we hadn't done. Oh, right, I have to turn on the weapons. That's what I have to do. Uh, can support up to three power, so we could just uh, turn everything on if we wanted to and get them charging up. And as soon as they fire, we can set auto fire, but as soon as they charge up, we're going to um, target. I don't know, target their weapon system, I guess, since we can go through their shields perfectly fine. Target all weapons on there. Oh, missiles do use resources, they eventually run out. I don't know if the missiles, if the, uh, the lasers actually went through. So I could just knock out their shields. There we are. Yeah, let's use another, another actual missile there. Hull's almost dead, and as soon as that goes, there we go, there's their ship. We actually looked like we almost missed one. And what do we get out of it? Well, we got some fuel, some more missiles. So we actually got our missiles back, I think, and some scrap, which I think is what we use to update, upgrade our ship. So here's our ship. Yes, yeah, so we have 23, we could upgrade our engines. Improves dodge chance and the rate your FTL drive charges. Well, that's very good. Improved shields. I think it'll also use up more energy. We can also increase our reactor. Uh, oh, we actually took some damage. I hadn't noticed. I wasn't paying attention to my own ship. I was too busy talking. Um, Sentinel doors. Impede fire spread and intruder movement. Huh. Interesting. Um, we're pretty much at our cap for energy, actually. So let's go ahead and unlock one level more of that. Because we'll need some for something else. No one has any exceptional traits, and we can potentially pick up some new weapons at some point. So, our med bay is damaged, so we're going to go and send uh, send this guy over there, and they should automatically repair that. Um, that's actually not going to take long at all. You know what? Stay in the engines, because we do want that to reload as quickly as possible. Oh, right, we only have one level. We have level one shield, so we're going to want to upgrade that when we can. So, I guess we'll just jump. So that was a trick. Nebulae here will make fleet pursuit slower, but will disrupt your sensors. Still, that seems like a good idea. Danger. So we've got a uh, sector of the nebula beset by plasma storm. Automated rebel scout station at the beacon moves into attack. All right, so we get a fight right away. Oh, and I think they're sending over an invasions crew, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that. We might want to group up our people, actually. Put them both in the engines and leave one guy in the pilot. sensors are out, right? Enables view of all rooms. Oh! Oh, so it's internal sensors that are out. Hmm. Why don't we have enough energy? my power and with the shields down well this is bad let's uh, turn off the med bay oh no we definitely want to keep the shields up did we take reactor damage and I just didn't notice hmm all right well I guess we'll just fire at the weapon system, since that'll go through anyway. And I believe our ship has been attacked at this point. So I gotta go hunting around for them.
Yeah, it's just like auto refire. Maybe they're not sending people. Maybe I'm misreading that. Can't, oh, we can't upgrade how the guns work. So auto fire is not doing anything. Oh, just a miss. I think the their weapon systems are down though now, so we should just be able to uh, pick apart the ship. I don't know what happened to our power. Oh, now their ship, their, their weapons are back on, their shields are down. Not that it really affects us, maybe I should have just hit their engines, actually. We've got our jump on, but I want to finish this fight. Sucks that we're using a ton of missiles to do this, though. Um, drone parts, scrap. I don't know what the drones are for. Oh, our O2 system is down. Well, I guess we're going to go and fix that. That's pretty important. And then we're going to get the hell out of the system. Our door system is down, too. Let's depower that for the jump. Yeah, I guess we can add more power to these things. Where are we gonna go? Let's go. Um, let's go this way. Let's go towards the store and see what that has to offer. I'm just curious. We're very close to a star. Rebel ship impervious to the heat moves in to engage. Oh, it's gonna launch light fires all over. Okay, so now we have more power. So I don't know exactly what the frickin' nebula was doing, but I didn't like it. Fully power the combat system. Uh, we're gonna move you to the weapon system, I suppose. Do we need a pilot? Like, I don't know. Oh, it's needed for evading combat. Our raid chance is 15%, so I guess we'll leave that in there for sure. The weapon's charging? Yeah, just slowly. Oh. Damage to the oxygen system. Solar flare. What is this icon? I don't know what this one is. Let's uh, let's shoot at it. He actually has no shields at all. All right. So you know what? We'll depower the Artemis system. Ah, fire! Fire bad. Uh, I can send people in there to fight. Or I could just vent it out into space, which seems like it might be a dangerous idea with the oxygen system down, but what the hell. Let's vent it to space. Uh, take out his weapon system. There we are. So now we can... Uh, there's a shortcut to close all doors, right? Boom. Whew! Alright, fuel, drone parts, scrap. We got some points. Oh, we still can't do it because the ship is currently in danger, so just, um... Whoa! Let's get that put out right away in the cockpit. That's going to be dangerous. And then hopefully the engines will finish charging in a moment, and then we'll be okay. No evade chance. Oh, the fire spread! Alright, you go there, fight the fire. I'm gonna have to send them to the, uh... Oh, man, we've gotta jump, like, now. More power to the engines. There we are. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's go to the store. We gotta repair the med bay, and then we've gotta heal our people. A group of mysterious alien vessels, they hail you and apparently have some valuable technology for sale. Cool. Allows you to deploy drone schematics you've found. Oh, so you need these to upgrade things. We could quick fix things. But I think we can probably fix it by hand. Although, I, that takes time. We've got to worry about the rebel fleet. Cloaking. Wow, that sounds powerful. We don't have any money for anything, though. Drone control. Comes with a free drone schematic. Interesting. <clears throat> 
10% more scrap. Well, that's good. 15% reduced cooldown for weapons. Nice. Repair ship is really good. Alright, well, that was interesting to see. Oh my god, my ship's still on fire. Come on, put that stuff out. Oh god, it's spreading. I suppose I could have vented these to space and not taken damage. Alright, can they access the med bay yet? I don't think so. I think it's damaged, yeah. Alright, so repair that and then heal yourselves, since we actually have a bit of a pause here. Um, I don't know, is there a way to just see damage overall? Alright, I think they're fixed. Powered up. Okay, you can go back in the pilot seat. Everyone is fixed, so... Um, we could upgrade our ship some more at this point. I think I want to upgrade my shields. Oh, we need to do a double upgrade. Upgrading increases bar count. But it looks like you need two, so just one upgrade won't do it. Well, we'll try and see. Anyway, there's no reason not to do it, and then... Because we've got to spend it anyway at some point. I mean, I guess we could get something else, but I like the idea of upgrading shields. Alright. Let's make eastward progress. We need to exit over here. I'm sure things will get harder as we go. Especially well-armed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members, and the rest can go free unharmed. No, this might be a tough fight, but I'm not giving up a crew member. Maybe I should leave someone in the engines. Send someone to the weapons. Um, there's only got one shield bar, so I think that's alright. Activate all weapons. And... Um, what are we going to target? I guess we'll just target their weapon system. And I will shoot a missile at them too. Oh god, that hurts! Oh, that's gonna wreck my shield, my weapons. We just gotta get the hell out of here as quickly as we can. Oh god! All right, let's go and help put out that fire here. Because our weapon system is totally down. Unless I just put my guys in the engines and hope that they can uh, fix it quicker. Oh, you are incredibly hurt. Standing in fire, get out of there. How far are we? Oh, we still got a ways to go. Shoot, I might just have to vent all of this. Alright, you guys go over here. Whoa, oh, so hurt. So I got no guns. Oh, it was giving it more energy bars. That's what it was doing with the upgrade. Really? I still can't upgrade. Okay. Oh, I'm like to jump out of here. These guys were brutal. Maybe I should have jumped back to have a safe spot. Uh. Oh. Damn it. I don't have any missiles, so I can't trade. Okay, so that's a big loss of oxygen, but we have a bit of safety here, so at least we'll be able to... Um... Stop spreading! It's supposed to be a low oxygen zone. Okay, close all the doors. I think this is the only damage system, so already our hull is at like two-thirds. So I think we're going to get blown up before we get anywhere at all. Probably don't need to keep a guy in the pilot seat all the time. Uh, 
All right, same as as ever here. You guys go there. You guys come over here. This are slightly damaged. Or is it just because I have you selected? Oh, yeah. No, everyone's mostly fine. I think Luan took a little bit of damage. Oh, and I think they get XP doing different things. You are really good at repair. You're a little spread out. You're actually better at the engines. So I should do a swap. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. I got really messed up here. Zeramar, I guess I can select you from here. Luan, you're just generic repair guy. We're going to stick you in shields. And you have a little bit of engine XP, so we're going to stick you over here. Alright, that seems, that seems reasonable.